you said you are policy auditors and you have been very critical about all the union government's economic policies. Even BJP governments were not spared. Uh, Vajpayee government was not spared. Even today, Modi government, SJM is criticizing Modi government for many re economic reforms, uh, FDI, free trade, e-commerce, so many things are there. Uh, how do you rate uh, Modi government's uh, performance on economic front? What are the major uh, weak uh, links in the economic performance of the government? See, we, we cannot actually say that the Modi government has performed great. You don't uh, we, rate we, this? We cannot. We cannot say that. Because, see, that would be a falsehood to say that. Okay. Because there is a legacy. You talk about banks, you talk about uh, the, the foreign trade policies that, that we follow. That's a continuation of something which we have a legacy. But what we are hopeful is that this Modi government has a more uh, tendency to listen. The classic example, the latest example is the RCEP. The Indian milk industry would have been wiped out had we signed the RCEP. Because if the Amul would not have been there, the iconic uh, brand that you talk about when you when you talk in the cooperative industry, the property sector, would have been shut the, uh, uh, New, New, New Zealand would have, would have flooded uh, because they, they do it as an industry. Here about 100, 150,000 families depend on uh, probably producing milk and supplying it to a mole and that this cost is definitely there. So we are hopeful that, uh, we, we are very confident that this government has now understood the concept of Sudeshi and you can, from the recent monkey baths and you know the, the meetings and the statements made by Prime Minister and all those people in the policy making body talking about that Sudeshi concept. So we need, we are hopeful, you know, it's, we have nothing against any government. We are highly nationalistic and our aim is to make sure that India economically becomes a Swadeshi self-reliant economy where we are not dependent on any other forces. My question is again, a person who is standing outside all this and watching it, uh, you are part of the Sankh Parivar ideology, I mean you um, subscribe to that ideology and the government is also driven by the same ideology. But how can you be critical about the government? Do you think that the government's non-performance or bad performance is only because of the legacy or the people who advise the government on economic reforms carry the old ideas and old legacy? What is the real reason? See, is there another, uh, another body who will criticize Modi uh, on a, on a, on a uh, merit basis? You think that there is no there other body? Are, there are nobody who will criticize with us. They criticize only because of political yeah. vendor. Okay. So we are actually the, the people with the eyes on, on the policies. So we are proud of saying that. And it is not for any single individual to, to uh, get, a, get a feeling that, you know, within the Parivar, see, even within families, we talk our own, uh, this thing, there's nothing wrong. And this is not fighting. We are only standing up and saying that this is wrong. Okay. We have to say the king is naked. <laughs> if he is, definitely. And so there is no, I think there is no animosity in it. It is only about... Uh, no, no. How does the king take it? How, uh, I mean, uh, to uh, ask you, how, the, how is your criticism uh, uh, taken by the Modi government? I think it's well taken. Well Absolutely, because see, you, I told you the example of uh, signing of RCEP and all. Which other body raised this voice okay. so vehemently, so so loudly? So that means he maybe have uh, some uh, in some we have variants that you cannot have hundred percent compatibility with even husband and wife. <laughs> so. In, in this politics, I think we have a better position because somebody who has the intention in the right direction. As a watchdog. We, 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 we as a watchdog, we, we, we definitely make sure that, you know, we raise the right red herrings, you know, we, we make sure that uh, he's aware. So at least when you know that there is a danger, 
that that protection can be taken uh, if i understand correctly sjm has criticized modi government on the front of employment generation uh, but uh, there is another contradiction which uh, i can point out uh, you people are supposed to be uh, opposed to big industries so how can the government create more employment without big industries uh, the government has been trying to advocate this policy but you have been critical how do you explain that so can i ask you a counter question yeah. if are you are you aware of the if if reliance industries i am taking their name one of the biggest industrial right. uh, houses having done great jobs for indian economy also no question about that right. if they invest a crore of rupees right. in any business what is the number of people who gets employment tell me uh, one or two one or two that's a, that's a statistic okay you take that one crore invest in or, or in the, in the msme sector okay. it's couple okay. of thousands okay. that is the reason see employment generation regularly happens when you have a distributed production so what is i am not saying that you know there should not be any big industry no we are not against anything we are not seen we we should not be looked upon as a backward looking organization we are very aware of what's happening across the world we need to be competitive we make sure that you know there are skills of productions that need to happen but there are industries where it has to go down and get into a distributed production system where you don't have the logistical uh, disadvantages agriculture sector again you need to invest more why is agriculture not performing about 50 plus percentage of your population workforce is employed in agriculture last budget we are happy that you know there has been a, a focus on warehousing right. uh, agro processing so this has to get distributed you cannot have one single big uh, 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 industry collecting all through a logistical uh, chain making sure that and then he controls the we know what happens when 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 uh, uh, big industries control the market so we are very clear about that employment generation happens when the msme sector is supported so that has to have the focus make in india we have a different set of opinion uh, that is what i am coming to in the post covid period um, there are reports already that many uh, industries big industries are pulling out of china and many of them want to come into india so will there be a policy change in the sjm towards this what is happening because for, uh, you have been opposing fda and other things things like that so how will you view will you have a change of perspective in the post covid era see definitely fdis are something which sudesh jagan will always look upon with a with a pinch uh, of definitely a doubt uh, not just a pinch you know a host of doubts that we have regarding because when we discussed about china we said that you know they they, they have a, a, a agenda so everybody has an agenda and when you you, you, you asked whether uh, you you like you would, you would rate us any better than china we will not because this is what china uh, us if you read john perkins the not just an uh, sorry the confessions of an economic hitman this is exactly what uh, us was doing okay. so basically when an fdi comes in this particular situation we are open to it we are we are happy to welcome that even though we have our own reservations but we are very sure that the government should lay down conditionalities while welcoming that basically they should be india is a huge market when our prime minister goes out he used to say about the 3d's the demography demand and uh, democracy so we have a huge demand so this manufactured products the m quantity that they used to export from china they should definitely do it from india because there's a shift of ways then they should make sure that you know the technology transfer if at all the technology fee and all there has a cap and the time frame where they can you cannot still like the unilevers 
take away a lot of, a lot of, yeah. a lot of money outside India. We have a paycheck of 20 billion dollar per annum for uh, the foreign brands that we use. 20 billion dollars. So there has, cannot, has to be a cap and a uh, longevity as to what the technology fee that we pay. So, and also there has to be a local content uh, which has to be specified, which the government I think will do, wherein in labor input or the local content on material input and things like that. So, subject to these conditions, we are happy to welcome because it will, if it gives employment, if it gives some uh, boost to the economy, why not? Our army chief, uh, he has said um, yesterday, he has said that uh, uh, army also should be self-reliant. I mean, we should be encouraging make in India. So do you think that there is a general realization regarding what you have been saying all these years? Definitely. As you asked earlier, there has, this has been an eye-opener. The code has been an eye-opener. Because your reliance, your, uh, on, on, on other, 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 other uh, supply chains have, have got seriously jittered. You know. And today, be it defense, be it food, be it technology, be it cyber. See, what happens if, if we, uh, we, we have the Chinese company to roll out the files? Exactly. Mm -hmm. you, have, you, you have some newspapers bragging about the TikTok this thing. Because you, we, this, this youngsters doesn't understand that whatever they uh, do through TikTok or this thing, the entire privacy is with the Chinese company and they are duty bound to <laughs> share it with the government or the party, whatever way you look at it. So basically you have to make sure that you are reliant. You talk, you, you saw about what happened about the Zoom, which is now getting very popular. Exactly, exactly. Security issues are Security there. issues are there. Because there is a law which is in China, you have a storage, any data is processed there, the in, if it is encrypted, the decryption key has to be submitted to the government. But how can you shut down the world? I mean, is See, it you only thing is, is you it can practical in the new world? Is it practical? Um, you can always put conditions, you can always demand for conditions to be put, but how far it is practical? See, China, does China have a Google? Doesn't have. But it's does a China, very close to society. Does, does China have a... So, we should be making sure the technology is in at least critical industries, in critical situations, we have to have our own technology. And mostly, in every technology uh, domain, Indians are on head. Everywhere, Indians have shown their metal in, 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 in the... So, we are capable. Now, there has to be policies. The government has to handhold and make sure the technology sphere is taken, bumped up to the other level, you know, a higher level, where we, people are confident that they are, they are uh, protected by the government, supported by the government, incubated by the government. So, that is where the government has to come in. And, uh, is SJM planning a, uh, something like that, a charter or something to be submitted to the government? That's a continuous process. It's a See, we, 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 have on, we are always on it. So, Rishi Jagran Manj is a, is a, is a work in progress. <laughs> Where in, 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 in the, the, the team we have the, we are the intellectual arm of in the Parivar, where we give inputs. That's our job, that's our duty. We keep on churning out this thing and we, 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 we... But many people, you know, consider you having some extremist, I mean, uh, views as far as our economy and other things, which uh, borders to the level of impract impracticability. I mean, impractical, many See, of your... We, we, our, stand, our stand has been vindicated right now. Nobody will call us an extremist anymore. Because when we talked about it, we are seen as backward looking. No, there were many BJP leaders also who I, were highly critical about you. Fair enough. I, we are not against criticism. We are critical about ourselves, always. We are an evolving uh, organization. We, right from 1990s onwards, we have tried our best to contribute. And today, we look back proudly and see that, okay, what we 
advocated has been accepted by the entire world not just india and we will continue to do that we are not going to rest on laurels and say that okay we have done it great and you know so that's that's not a job you know getting accolades and pat on the back is not what we are looking for <coughs> we are looking for giving uh, evolving uh, economic advisory policy guideline support uh, uh, all these things where our nation comes first our nationalism is our uh, is our backbone and without which we will ni- no no country can survive definitely coming back to the current situation there is a lockdown going on uh, economy is in a standstill so we need to definitely this phase will be over and we need to restart the process i mean economic activities and other things what will you suggest as a major three four steps to trigger off a restart of our in economy to its uh, normal level so i think government will definitely have to uh, come out with support to uh, the msme sector and the agriculture sector they have to be a little more lenient uh, in 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 throwing open the coffers and uh, being uh, a little more because every other country if you look they have all come out with the stimulus packages and uh, india has been very tight fisted and i think there has to be a little more of loosening of the uh, finances and probably you know the frbm and all these things will have to be a Uh, go by uh, the fiscal deficit and all this thing will will possibly not be 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 adhered to in this particular peculiar situation that we have so that is one area where we need at least you know the the how could the banks which has been badly hit by the uh, phone banking that we had during the upa governments i think uh, banks should be prodded and 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 helped out to uh, lend to these uh, industries in the priority sector with a with a reasonably low interest for which possibly they can give a 4 or 5 lakh crore guarantee to the bank a credit guarantee to the bank so if you look at the average the npas like say uh, average npa is about 10% if you assume msmes contribution to that is much much less but even if you say a 10% is going to be the non performing uh, asset to the bank we we are looking at a 50000 crore after 3 years so that confidence taking measures have to be given to the banks and lending institutions so that they confidently lend and msmes per se have never been a willful defaulter don't you feel that being conservative and being little tight in comparison to other countries has actually helped us see again it's it's, it's about a perception okay you are not talking about you know being going over the over the Uh, overboard and uh, plunging money like like the uh, subprime crisis you know right. nobody benefited right. uh, the the big 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 business houses no we are not saying that you need not be cautious it need not be uh, tight fisted we have to be there to support the affected segment even when you had that uh, the the slowing down of the indian economy we were talking about the corporate sitting on enough cash surpluses yes are you not aware of that so uh, that money is still there it's still there yes. so the big businesses can survive i am not saying that you do not support probably we have already given in advance the tax breaks were given the the impetus you know to bring out the animal spirits we have definitely taken care of the corporate sector they have to now perform then regarding the msme we need to hold hand, hands we need to make sure that our small and distributed economy the neighborhood economics will work now 
the big format malls and all will not possibly work because of the social distancing. But small scale. Small scale, you because you know, you and I, when we had no other way to go and buy uh, products, it was the neighborhood corner shop which helped. And that format will work. So these are the small, medium, micro enterprises which will have to be supported and they have to grow because it is an employment generator. So you have to at least take a little risk, bring out stimulus packages and make sure that we do some monetizing in, in the coming. Uh, without going into the great details that we were analyzing so far, for the common man, uh, what you have to say about the post-COVID crisis. Do you think that, yes, everyone says that the world economy is hit, hit very badly. But as far as India is concerned, do you think that things are going to change? I mean, India will come out with uh, flying colors, maybe with, um, a bit stronger than before. Uh, what is your perception on that? What you have to say to the common man who doesn't know the intricacies of uh, all this? See. There's no way other than hard work, smart work, and quick work. You have to be, to survive, it is a survival of the quickest today. True. You have to get back on your feet and start, start working. working. Right. And it is going to be about frugal economics. Be frugal. You have to control cost, be it on your personal life, be it on your company, in a business, everywhere, you have to be cost conscious. Spend tight fisted. And we always have that, that kind of a, a economy where we had saved. The saving mentality for the last so many years, maybe a decade or so, we have shifted to the West. We have possibly looked at the American movies and uh, we started splurging, we, we lived on tomorrow. Don't do that. You have to make sure that you live within your means and make sure that you save. We had a, a history of saving 30% of our earnings. Today it is 12%, 10%, something like that. So basically for the common man, for you, for me, we need to be frugal. We cannot splurge. And we have to act fast, quick, hard. If 130 billion people together work, and India is going to be the world leader. True, true. We shall overcome. Uh, you said that SJM is all about nationalism and Indian nation. So today is a very important day for our Indian nation. Today is the anniversary of Pokhran test. Uh, our Pokhran test, uh, second one, it uh, really shook the world. You, uh, isn't it? I mean, people started thinking or looking at India with a different perspective. On this day, on this anniversary day, uh, from SJM, what is your message to the Indian nation? What is your message to our people? So today is the National Technology Day. We celebrate our success uh, of Operation Shakti uh, on, in, in 1998 as the National Technology Day, rightly so. See, when every other government was scared about what the world would do, there was one man, Surgiya Atil Bihari Vajpayee Ji. He came and immediately after assuming office, he gave the go-ahead to uh, do the test. We did five tests and uh, on two days, 11th and 13th. And we have films made out of it, you know, like, you know, how we fooled the US uh, spy network and uh, it, it was a great success. And I still remember it was President Clinton who said that, you know, he was sad to and even on that uh, speech, he said, you know, he, uh, India is a great friend and he's, he's actually uh, unhappy, you know, yes, uh, there were sanctions against. And that sanctions actually was instrumental in India looking at 
internally to develop. So that is why the it, it, it's it's like it's a, helped us in fact helped us a very very. So when you have that day to prod us to propel us to make sure that you know we we have made, resoundingly made our uh, arrival known to the world. I think we celebrate that. And today, at Sudeshi 2.0, if you say that Gandhi ji, uh, you know, created that Sudeshi 1.0, this is Sudeshi 2.0. We got a political freedom in, in at, under Sudeshi 1.0, and we are going to get an economic freedom at Sudeshi 2.0. Okay. And I have absolutely no doubt about it. Okay. Thank you very much for being with us and uh, spending your time, valuable time with us Thank today. You. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye.